Before we dive into the topic, let us understand why you might want to choose a paid SSL certificate when Bluehost provides a free version. One of the biggest reasons why you might want to consider a paid SSL is liability protection. This means that in the event of a data breach, you are insured based on your warranty level. This is especially important if you are an e-commerce website and have personal and financial data of your customers. The renewal process for the free SSL is a good reason to choose paid SSL. You will need to renew your free SSL certificate every 90 days. Paid SSL certificates often renew every year or every two years. Another good reason to choose paid SSL is wildcard SSL. Let's Encrypt, a popular free SSL provider, is working on this, but currently only paid SSL through wildcard SSL provides protection to primary domains and an unlimited number of their subdomains. Now that we have seen the differences between paid and free SSL, let us see how you can install a paid SSL certificate. The process to install a paid SSL is different for shared hosting and VPS or dedicated servers. We will be looking at shared hosting today. Please note that you will need a dedicated IP address before you are able to add an SSL certificate to your account. You can add a dedicated IP address to your hosting service from the add-on section of your control panel. The first step is to generate a private key. First, log into your Bluehost panel. Click on the Advanced tab. Scroll down to the Security section and click on the TLS SSL Manager icon. Here, under the title Private Keys, click on Generate, View, Upload or Delete your private keys. Next, the Private Keys page will open. Here, under the Generate a New Key section, select Key Size 2048 or 1024 and then click on the Generate button. Your private key will be displayed. Click Return to SSL Manager. Back in the SSL Manager page, under the Certificate Signing Requests option, click on Generate, View or Delete SSL Certificate Signing Requests. Enter the domain name and the required information into the form. Press the Generate button. If you have entered valid information, you will be shown your generated private key. If it looks blank, click back and correct any information. The second part of the process is to create the certificate signing request. Take the CSR to the SSL vendor of your choice and complete the domain control validation. Post this, the vendor will provide the CRT. With the new CRT, return to the SSL manager. Under the Certificates option, click the Generate, View, Upload or Delete SSL Certificates. Copy the CRT provided and paste it in the text box. Or browse your computer for the .crt file. Repeat for the CA bundle file if received as well. After this, press the Upload Certificate button. The key as well as the CRT will be required when we install your certificate on the server and a CA bundle if provided by the SSL vendor. It is recommended to keep a backup copy of each of these as they may be used for this particular domain name with any host. You can now go and check if the padlock is reflecting on your website.